Hello guys, this is part 2 of our music bot with the Lavalink series and today we will handle some events, like how to detect when a new song is playing and when a song ends, and how to send an embed. And yes, if you want an advanced music bot with awesome features like autoplay, 24 7 mode, 25 filters, and much more, you can visit my Patreon shop. Before we move forward, I want to tell you about my Patreon page, which is a great place for all of you. On my Patreon, you'll get access to the source code for all my YouTube series and videos, available for just $5 or $10 it's up to you to choose. Then we also have my shop page, where you'll find advanced bot and dashboard code that I've personally written, all at very affordable prices. So, make sure to check it out, and don't forget to join our growing Discord coding community. It's full of developers from various backgrounds, and it's a place where you can help each other solve errors, share packages, and access tons of resources. The link is in the description. So, let's get started. First, we need to shift the code we wrote in the previous video to Discobase because Discobase comes with awesome features, so why not? If you want to watch a tutorial on Discobase, you can check out this video. Now, I'll quickly create a new Discobase project. Great, our project is ready. Now, I'll quickly move the code from the previous video here. Done. As you can see, this won't work, but why? That's Discobase is telling us that there are missing intents needed to run this command. So, let's quickly enable those intents here. And now let's run it again and check in Discord. Nice, it's working. Now, let's start writing today's code. So now, we need to create some files for the code we're going to write today. First, we'll come into the events folder and go to the other folder. You can create these files in any folder inside the events folder, but I'm doing it here. I'll create three files for three events here. Then, I'll move to the functions folder and inside the other folder, I'll create three more files, which will manage our queue and duration. After that, we need to go to index.js and write the code to trigger these events. I'll quickly write the code here for these three events. You only need to write the code for one event, and then copy-paste it, changing the event name and file accordingly. Alright. Now we need to write the code in these files. So follow along and write the code in your files just as I'm doing. And yes, from the next videos, we will start creating commands like skip, pause, resume, search, and much more. But for the next part, I need you to get 10 likes and 930 subscribers completed, so I'll upload the next part. So please subscribe, we need to hit 1k subscribers soon.
Alright, the code for PAGAQ is quite long, so if you want the code for it, you can join my Patreon for just $5, where you'll get the code for this entire series, along with the code for all the other series on my channel as well. But if you don't want to, PAGAQ isn't absolutely necessary right now, so you can still use it without that. So now I'll explain what this code will do. The player start event will automatically delete the previous song's embed and send a new embed for the next song when one song finishes, so you'll always know which song is currently playing. The player end and empty events will send an embed when the queue is empty or when a song ends and there's no other song left to play.